privateering? Is it dangerous? Wouldn't pay so nice if it weren't. Douse the flames! Get in there, you mongrel! Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag with the Gazbeard. We are on Great Inagua Island and we've been tasked with meeting James Kidd. Just a recap of what we got up to. In the previous couple of videos, I had to infiltrate the island and capture that large galleon that's down well in fact that's not the large galleon that looks more like the jackdaw but we had to capture a large galleon that was anchored in the harbour here and in the process of doing so we captured this island and this town and it very much looks like we're going to set up a base here and that's fine by me now how do we get down uh, right um, Whichever way it is, it's not off the edge of the cliffs there, is it? Looks like there's a... A walkway or a footpath or something here. Let's... Just speed it up and run down to meet James Kidd. Look out, girl. And it looks like he's standing... On the end of the dock. Cutscene. Right. Leaving already. I think this cove suits you best, Edward. Better than that costume does. Oh, come on now. We're pirates, kid. We take as we please and become who we like. Self-made men. But that look ain't you. It's not who you are. Who am I then? Hard to tell some days. All I know is you like dangerous prizes. Like the observatory. I think you know more about that than you let on in NASA. You noticed that, did you? Beat me at 20 degrees, three minutes latitude just off the coast of Yucatan. I'll have something to show you there in a few weeks' time. Right, so, this old cove, from that exchange, I'm going to take it as read that this becomes our cove, and that this town becomes our town, and we've got a mission to meet up with James Kidd, off the coast of Yucatan, in a few weeks time. Great Inagua hideout upgrades, meet with your crew to purchase, I, want, I wish they would leave that on screen until I dismiss it. Um, right, there's the jackdaw. Um, we've got missions kicking up over there, look. Right, who's this dude here? Spare a moment, Captain. Aye. I'll be needing coin to set up the shipyard, Captain. The faster we have the needful gold, the sooner our ships will rule the waves. We've got 13,000 reals. He needs 500. Right, let's go for it. It's not a lot of money, and we do need a shipyard. There we go. He got himself a waistcoat and a new hat by the look of it at the same time. Cove upgrade, the harbour master. Right, who else have we got? Oh. Go and speak to the tavern dude. Tavern's an essential part of a pirate's life, after all. Your time, my friend. The men do sorely lack a place to do their wenching and debauching. With a little coin encouragement, I could have the old place Bristol fashion and a flower rum fit to obliterate a good tar proper like. How much does he want? He wants three and a half thousand. Well, that's going to leave me with nine thousand. Okay, we'll go for it. 
We do need a tavern. That's a rather grand tavern. Ah, that's a definitely a rather grand tavern. So we've got our shipyard, got our tavern. Get out of the way, you. Who's this guy here? Got an ear for me, Captain. You're going to make the general oh, store. I can drink with you, Captain. I need coin to build a little emporium. I'd be ever obliged. And a local shop would bring in many a useful ware for you as repayment. So he's going to make the general store. 700 reals. Yeah, we can afford that. Let's go for that. This is money I was hoping to spend on the jackdaw, but if it gets the base up and running. Now, who's the guy down on the beach? Let's go see what he wants. And then I want to go and explore that big house up there. What are you after? Been thinking, Captain. Why not build ourselves a grand old bonfire by the beach? The lads would be a better cheer if they had such a spot to let loose. Be savvy. How much does he want? 7,000 reals to build a bonfire on the beach. Um, we'll decline that for now. We'll come back to you when we've made some more money. Alright, you just keep your idea in mind. We're just not spending that money right now. Right. Good capitaine. He takes care of his men, yes? The sailors are un peu dissatisfied that there are no women of comfort here. I know just where to find them, but we need to build them a home. Okay, so it's going to take 15,000 reals to build a brothel. Okay, that's going to have to wait. We don't have that amount of money. Anybody else? Who else wants to empty my purse? Eh? Right. Okay. Nobody, it would seem. So, let's go and have a look at this big house up here. Oh, there's somebody in here. Somebody in here wants my money. Uh, what are you doing, Edward? Now, we should be able to loot money from this place rather than have to spend it. But we'll see what goes on. Uh... Can't get into that check. We'll have to go down and check them cellars shortly. Plenty of treasure chests and stuff here. What's this? This still doesn't quite feel like home. Six thousand to upgrade the house. Um We've only got eight and a half thousand left. We'll Wait until we've got more money in the bank before we go for stuff like that. Meanwhile, let's just check. We should be able to pull money from this house. I mean, look at all these chests lying around, unless they've come off the jack door. Have they? No. Right. Um. No. Templar armor, that's that one in there. We've got one of five keys. Yeah, there's one in the top lock, so we've got to get another four. Right, um... Let's go and have a look down in this cellar, because we did notice loot when we were coming up through here with Kid in the last episode. This kid was moving too fast, and... Not giving us a chance to look at everything. Alright, what's this? A 
set of typical flintlock pistols found all across the West Indies. Right, that's the set that we're not using. Because we're using the standard wheel lock pistols, which gives us the greater range. This seems to be where we store our pistols when we're not equipped with them. Okay. This one. That looks like muskets above it. What's supposed to be on here? More pistols by the look of it. Okay. And this one, that looks like swords. This one looks like outfits, uniforms. Uh, that might be more swords. That might be more swords. Okay. Uh, what do we got in here? No. There's definitely boxes of treasure here, and I'm pretty sure this lot didn't come off the jackdaw. So why can't we get whatever treasure this represents? Hmm. Okay, well that's a route back out into the jungle, if we want to go hunting animal skins. What's this through here? Is this an alternative route to the jungle? Looks like a route down to the beach. Ah, uh, no, it seems to go to the jungle. Seems to be a chest up ahead, though. from that smoke bombs hmm. okay there is a shanty up here somewhere ah right now we recognize this area this, we did some fighting here didn't we shanty it, there's the shanty look oh, wait a minute there's a stele there that's have we done this one looks like we've done this one Right, so, how do we get across there to get that one? Um, oh, come on, come back here, you. Got you. Right. Uh, I've forgotten how to look at the map. There's the map, right. We've got a naval supply drop. That'll be in the water out there. Um, we've got this viewpoint that we need to sink. That might give us a few more things to do. So, we want to go back the way we came, I assume. Did we come down that branch? I think we did. Yeah, this is the way we came in. Whoops. Hey, missed it. Right, okay, no problem. Ooh, that was kind of deep water, wasn't it? Right, which way did we come in? Where's that stelli? Or steel? Ooh, I'm kind of lost. Uh, oh, there's the steel. Right. So that's the steel. Um, I think we came in this way, wasn't it? Is that the cave down there? It looks like it. Yep. 
Yeah, this is the cave on the way back into the house. Yeah, there's the stairs up to the house. Let him get his stamina back. What's that? Maltese cross on the map. Wonder if it's the armor. Yeah, it would seem to be the armor, right? Um, now we've got a a what's it point out there to go and synchronize with. Let's just have a look around in the house. A rather big bed. I don't think there's anything in here to interact with. Oh, hello, what's this? Are those models of ships that we've destroyed? Could be. Except they're all English. And we've mainly been destroying Spanish ships. There's the models of Spanish ships. And yes, that could be the range of ships from Spain that we've destroyed. From a gunboat through to a frigate. What's that? Flowers growing through the floor. Interesting. Oh, that should be worth a pretty penny. What's that? Hello? Why did that light come on? It didn't go off as we move away from there. Might just be the sun moving round. Right, let's go and get this synchronization done. Um, which way out? I don't think there is a way out here. Might have to go out the back of the house. Oh, large gardens here. There's a uh, a wheel there. There's the sink point up there. Where does that path go? We've got all of this to explore because we never got the chance to explore it when we were capturing the island. Oh, there's a shanty. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, it's an animus fragment. We got it before we've got a chance to do anything. Right. Get out of the way, bird. Right, now we find out if we've already got everything, or if there's going to be a load more things for us to get. One of one synchronizations for Great Inagua. Let's have a look at the map. Um, okay, there's a chest there. There's a naval drop there, and there's a cadaver over there. Oh, there's a bunch of chests over here. There's a letter down there. Right, so we're going to have to do a bit of running around. Try and get these. Um, I would suggest get that chest first. Then we'll come back and get that naval drop and that cadaver. And then we'll go up into the jungle and we'll get this lot. Right, so we want to go back that way.
Whoa, big jump. Where is this chest? Looks to be on the other side of that wheel. Uh huh. Come on, loot. Roughly 300 reals. Want to get round to the back. Oh, Edward. Want to get round to the front of the house. going next. Going down to that naval drop. Come on, run. Metal, that's good. Right, cadavers over here. The tavern seems to be doing well. Uh, oh, is there a cave round here? Or is the cadaver up on the top somewhere? I'm looking for an underwater cave, not just a surface water one. Oh, that looks to be area not available. So that cadaver might in fact be up on the top there somewhere. we come across a cave it's going to take us in through that hill um, is there a way up there? Uh, yes there is I see it sneaky nice one developers you did good this time never even noticed this one before. Ah, now, have we got a drop down there? Um, looks like we have. We slide. There we are, cadaver. And loot. Come on, loot. E, interact. There we go. A treasure map. Um, 633784. Grey sails is the reward off this one, so that's a ship blueprint. Don't think we've come across that house yet, certainly not with a cove with something like that, because that I would have remembered as being so unusual. Um, six three three seven eight four. Go to the map. Okay, don't try it that way. Six three three seven eight four. A 
ones up way up north. It's Nassau. Interesting. Because we spent quite a bit of time in Nassau. We should have seen that. I have to remember that. So we're going to have to go back to Nassau at some point. Right. Okay, well I think chasing up the rest of those chests is something that I'm going to do off video. There doesn't seem to be anything special about them. They're just chests in slightly concealed positions. And I don't think there's very much else that we need to do here. Um, I mean, that naval drop is back again. Looks like it's going to be a constant drop. There's these four chests over here and this message in a bottle, which is part of the storyline. But that's it. And it's going to take quite a bit of running around the jungle trails to get these chests. So it may be better that I do do them outside of the uh, video. So let's get back on the ship. Let's go get up to some mischief. And there's one thing I want to check um, before we set sail. Which will mean... Come on, jump. Which will mean a quick visit into the captain's cabin. Why can't we enter the captain's cabin? That's strange. Alright. Um, we've got an information task sitting right underneath us. We can take the wheel. Or I guess we talk to Adawali? No. Taking the wheel seems to be it. Sail to sea. Yep. Got to remember, it's Great Inagua Island that's our base. That's where we come back to. We found a trove of nautical maps and ledgers and the like, scattered about the village. You'll find them sorted in the captain's quarters of the Jackdaw. Quality stuff. Nautical maps and ledgers. They might come in useful if we decide to build up a fleet of our own. Exactly my thinking, Captain. Have a look for yourself and tell me what you think. Okay. Interact with the Kenway's fleet map. There it is. Kenway's fleet. No more dock space available. We've got one of four ships. What do you want to do? Salvage ship from the fleet. Salvage for 330 gemstones. We've got 15 of 15. Good grief. Um, no dock space available. Well, that is a frigate. We want to keep that. Let's have a look around the rest of the fleet. Salvage, let's salvage a ship from the fleet. Let's find, whoa. That's a man of war. Good God. That's a man of war. Where did we get these from? Um, according to this, we fully unlocked the entire thing for the fleet because normally you start with just two or three slots and then you have to buy them as you progress we've also started with maximum gemstones this has got to be a glitch um
no use salvaging for gemstones because we can't make use of them. Um, I'm going to have to sort this out and come back in the next video and show you what it's all about. I'm sorry about this, ladies and gentlemen. Exit Ken, uh, Kenway's fleet. Confirm. Um, now, where's all these other documents? Reach the Jackdaw's wheel. That's the outfit the ship. Where's all these other documents? Um, he said they were all in the captain's cabin. I don't see them. Let's change equipment. I don't know what ship outfitting we can do. Um, we look to be a little bit low on metal. We can do chain shot strength. We can do heavy shot. Heavy shot would actually be the better upgrade right now. We're already at level 2 chain, but we're still on level 1 heavy shot. Cargo storage. Rowboat armor. Yeah, I think heavy shot we need to upgrade. Mortar needs upgraded. It's only on level one. Uh, we don't have the metal or the reals for that. It's okay. We'll get to it. So. Not a lot of action this week. Mainly sorting things out. Um, yeah, hello, hooray, hello. Look at all those ships up there waiting to be captured. And that one up there, good grief. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to sort out what's happening with Kenway's fleet. Because it looks like all the upgrades and everything that I had in place on my previous save have carried through into this save. What's your feeling? I'll make no secret of wanting to see the British brought to heel. If we can take their gold and put it to use ourselves, I'll be a happy man. Spoken like a true Welshman, Ade. <laughs> and what's your aim? Master Kidd hinted at a prize he was eager to show me down in Tulum. Quite some distance, mind, on the Yakutam Peninsula. You trust him to play it fair? I can't be sure. He has a way of picking away at my conscience that gives me pause. I should go see him soon. So long as we take some prizes along the way, I'm sure the crew will understand. I'll set the course for Tulum. Right, let's just quickly check the map. Oh, but that's yellow information marker, yeah. It's the main mission. Now we need to rebuild cash, so I'm going to go rebuild cash. I'm going to clear out that problem with Kenway's fleet. And I'll see you back here. This is our base now, Great Anagua. I'll see you back here in next week's episode. Once I've cleared out these little issues that are going on and cleared up the, uh, the little bits on the map over here. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave your comments and questions down below, any suggestions that you've got. And I'll certainly look forward to, t to reading them all. From me, the Gazbeard in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Many thanks, and it's not goodbye, it's just bye for now.